Fog on the times all mine, all mine. Fog on the times all mine. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another beer review. And in this beer review, if you've uh, looked at the title of the video, I'm sure there won't be any Mackums watching this one. <laughs> We've got a beer um, called Tie Nine. There you go. Number nine. It's a black lager, you know. It's from the Firebrick Brewery. And it's 3.9% um, ABV. Okay, super smashing. Not so great because um, I think it's named after, well, the nine shirt is quite a famous shirt for them up there. Obviously, Southampton legend Alan Shearer wore it. Um, obviously, you know. When he played for the Saints, it must have been the highlight of his career. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to start stirring the shit with it, and I? I'm going to get the bloody... I'm going to get some stick for this. Um, I better just concentrate on the beer, actually, um, and not talk about a device... Not make divisive comments that people start to switch off. Well, that might do anyway. Um, so it's a handcrafted black lager from the Firebrick Brewery. Now, the Firebrick Brewery I discovered by accident when I went to Newcastle a couple of weeks ago. <coughs> by the time this comes up, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's in a place called Granger Market. I remember going to Newcastle a very, very long time ago when I first moved up here. And um, I remember Granger Market vaguely, but I went in there. I was quite surprised, you know, what was in Granger Market. I came across a beer shop um, from a brewery called Firebrick Brewery, which are based in Bladen. Not familiar where Bladen is. And uh, had a great chat with a the fella there, a uh, very knowledgeable fella. Uh, picked up a few beers, like you do, take home and start reviewing. I think I've got about one, two, maybe about three or four beers to put on the channel. This is the first one. They're based at Cowan Road in Bladen. There you go. So let's just crack it open. Black Lager. I'm a fan of Black Lagers. Um, I mean, you know, usually lager drinkers don't um, don't really like big flavour beer. They like a, a, a more of a balanced, multi balanced beer. Um, something you can really chuck down. And I suppose three point nine percent is relatively the best um strength for a session really so let's pour it out like you do now i don't know if this is going to come out jet black because i'm thinking this is more styled on a dunkel a german dunkel which is like a dark lager um but i think they have more or less achieved achieved it it is pretty jet black you know um uh, quite a white head Stick it there. Put it up to the light. Nah, it, it's not jet black. It's, it's got shadow right the way through that. Um, let's get the aroma. Yeah, it, I mean, it's it's it's, it's quite a multi aroma. Um, a slight roastness there. I would say it's like a pilsner malt, maybe a roasted pilsner malt. Maybe coming through. I'm going to go in. Cheers. Very well balanced for me. There's a slight smokeness for me. Slight smokeness, a slight roastness there. You pick that up. That's, that's the only defining... Um, difference between this and a normal lager for me. It's not a big flavouring, big flavour lager. Get a slight roastedness, maltness, smokeness. Um, smooth mouthfeel. It's got a clean edge for me on the back end. And overall, I have to say, if you know the the normal lager drinker out there wants something a little bit dis uh, different a little bit of a twist on their normal lager then i would definitely highly recommend it oh uh, like i say 3.9 percent 
it's still got plenty of flavour in, you know. It's not, there's not really any thin wateriness about it. It's, it's, it's full of flavour and very, very enjoyable. So they have done a great, great job on this. Um, they really have. Uh, definitely. But the only problem I have, boys and girls, is, you know, they want to sell lots of their beers, obviously, this brewery, don't they? And I've always thought with sports-themed beers, doesn't matter who it is, I'm not having a dig, doesn't matter who it is, you are pigeonholing yourself, really, in a way, because people in Sunderland ain't going to buy that, are they? You know, people in Middlesbrough aren't going to buy that, you know. So, mainly because of what the, you know, what is on the can. And, you know, I think from a brewing perspective and a marketing point of view, I think you want to sell as much of the stuff as you can to make, you know, the most money. So, you know, it, 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 they pigeonhole themselves into a corner in a way. And if, if there isn't, you know, a lot of Newcastle supporters out there who like black lager, you, then you're in a little bit of trouble, I suppose. But apart from that, me as a neutral, as a neutral on this, I have to say it's a very, very nice, well-brewed black lager. Boys and girls, Tie 9 from Fire Brick Brewery. Even if you don't support Newcastle, I think you should try it. I think you should. See you on me next one.